Hi guys, my name is Katie, or Kiwi Does Art, and today we are going to be making a pizza. Um, you guys might have seen my previous tutorial last week of making a pizza box, so as you can guess, this is the pizza that's going to go inside that box. So first things first, go ahead and just grab a cylinder. Um, this is actually going to be like the base for our pizza, basically, because it already has the perfect divisions for a pizza. <laughs> so grab that cylinder, go to your attribute editor, and then go over to poly cylinder one. So this, uh, where it says subdivisions axis is where you're gonna kind of like determine how many slices of pizza you want. Um, usually I think people do like eight slices of pizza, um, but you can always choose to do more if you would like that. Um, kind of up to you. I'm gonna keep it with eight just cause I feel like that's easy. I'm gonna move my height probably like, I don't know, maybe like 0.5 would be okay. And then up that radius to maybe like five or maybe like even four could work. All right, that looks good. Go ahead and press three. We're gonna see how that's rounding out a little bit. First things first, go into face mode, click Q to select them, hold tab and select these guys. Then you're gonna do Command E or Control E to extrude those guys. And then you're just gonna hold Control and move this offset in. So this is gonna be the crust. So, you know, move it in as far as you want the crust to go, maybe like 0.5 or 0.6, somewhere in between there. Once you've got that, go ahead and click one, hold shift and double click the next to select the whole ring. And then do Command E to extrude once again and up that thickness while holding control and make it as, as thick that you want it to be. Um, kind of depends how thick you want your crust to be. <laughs> Um, you can also kind of press three and look at the thickness there. We're going to bevel it too, so this isn't going to be the end result, but go ahead and go into edge mode, select, uh, you can just double click that inside edge and we're going to do control B for beveling. Um, let's see, click three. Okay. That's rounding up pretty nicely. Actually, if you want it to have more of like a smaller edge, kind of so it doesn't like smooth as well in. You can do a smaller fraction by holding control. That way it like really snaps. Um, I'm going to be going somewhere in the middle because I don't want it to look super obvious. Um, also adding segments can make it more defined like that. So totally up to you on how you would like yours to look. But I think I'm going to go for this. Go ahead and select these top faces. You can hold tab to select them all. And then also hold shift and double click on that ring right there. And then go ahead and do command E to extrude it and then up that thickness like that. All right. I want to still make sure that we get like a round pizza. So really make sure that it still looks like that. Um, go ahead and go into edge mode and take this bottom edge, do control B and bevel it. Give it two segments and a small fraction. Not like super small, but just so it rounds out without, you know, super rounding out. All right, and then feel free to kind of like move faces around as needed. Um, kind of like if you want more depth on your pizza or whatever you're thinking. Um, next thing I think I want to add would be, um, maybe we'll make this like a pepperoni pizza. So we just need like cylinders basically. All right, bring that cylinder up here, click R, scale it in, and then go to edge mode, select both these edges and do beveling, control B, and then make the fraction however you want it. There we go. All right, and then um, you can click R um, in object mode and scale it down until it kind of thinks, yeah, that's probably a good size for pepperoni. And then you're just gonna throw it on and, um, oh, I'm also realizing that I want to um, take each of these like sections. You can go every other section like this. So go ahead and select each of these segments, kind of like that, like that. And then once you have them all, do Command E 
and we're gonna offset them in maybe like 0.03, something really small. But then you're gonna do the same thing with all the other guys. So hold them and select the ones that you didn't extrude yet, offset to the same degree, 0.03. Um, all right, and then you're gonna take these inner guys, so like those guys, those guys, just the inner sections. So not the section that you just created when you extruded it. And then do extrude again, and we'll up that thickness. Probably like that. Oh, I realized that I missed one. Don't forget that one. There we go. Make sure you didn't miss any others, and then do extrude and up that thickness. 0.03 should be okay. I'm just trying to put some depth into our pizza. So feel free to kind of go whatever, whatever you feel like. All right, you can grab that pepperoni. Um, and then I mean like you're just gonna be kind of placing them on the pizza. So, you know, place it, do Command D or Control D to duplicate it, and then just move it and reposition it. Um, if you wanna add more toppings on it, totally feel free. Try and just space them out. Almost there. All right, that should be a good enough pepperoni. <laughs> okay, sweet. So, um, I'm thinking that's kind of it. Um, I don't really need this pizza to be like super detailed. It's just gonna sit in a box. So, yeah. Um, if you guys have any questions on it, please let me know. Um, I can kind of help you guys out on anything. Also, if you want to try and smooth it out a little bit, I can help you on that. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that's it for this tutorial. So um, I'll see you guys next time for whatever we're creating next. Um, I probably won't create another tutorial until after the new year. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your 2020 year and I'll see you guys back up in um, 2021. Bye guys. <laughs>